there's a new Superman movie headed our way, and James Gunn should probably learn a few lessons from one major mistake he made while he developed Henry Cavill's character. The way the DC Universe is emerging under Gunn will bring a fresh, young Superman version to our screens. Superman Legacy should afford DC a chance to avoid the huge mistake they made in the way Cavill depicted the superhero in the original DCU. Make no mistake, Cavill was much loved as the Man of Steel, but his iteration was way more focused on Kal-El, and of course, his heroic acts. Little attention was paid to the Clark Kent side of things. If this reboot is to be all that it's promising to be, this air should be amended. It's kind of, it's just the experience. You are building something which is entirely custom to you. It's the doing all the research, learning how to put it together, getting over the terror of these expensive components arriving in the mail and then you just plugging them in like adult Lego. Both Superman and Clark Kent are essential to the ongoing story and should be treated as such. In a way, Henry Cavill has been the symbol of the chaos at DC. This, while James Gunn is working to make a relatively seamless transition from the expanded universe that was his 2022 inheritance. It was expected that Cavill would return one final time in Man of Steel 2. This assumption came about after his appearance in the post credit scene in Black Adam. When he was dropped two weeks after the release, though, it was a clear indication that Gunn had a complete reboot in mind. It's, um, yes. I mean, to a degree, it's, of course, an emotional moment. I'm not talking floods of tears or anything, but uh, that character means a lot to me and the character's been a formative part of my career. The way DC and James Gunn now crafts the adaptation of Superman will have to be well thought through, at least if they want to move beyond the backlash Cavill's exit caused. The DCEU provides the perfect roadmap of how to do this. Every version of Superman, both on television and in movies, has always had depth for both the characters of Clark Kent and Kal-El. So, it was sad to see that the DCEU somehow forgot about Clark Kent while the larger story was playing out. There's no way the blame for this can be laid at the feet of Henry Cavill, though. Quite rightly, um, otherwise I probably shouldn't deserve to wear the, the cape, but I, I never gave up hope. And it's amazing to be here now uh, talking about it again. Um, there is such a bright future ahead. For the character. In the precious few scenes he had as Clark Kent, he did admirably. Rather, it would seem the DCEU somehow lost interest in Clark Kent and his world. They spent virtually no time exploring Clark's life when he wasn't being Superman. This made it look as if the DCEU were somehow confused about what to do with Clark Kent. A few of the iconic characters were improved in Man of Steel though. Lois Lane is one. The DCEU, however, preferred to explore Superman in his Kryptonian context and shone the spotlight on his Justice League career. And sure, these are vital aspects of the superhero's character, but they simply cannot exist in a vacuum. Clark's life is full of intricacies and relationships. Leave these out and viewers have no reason left to identify with him as a superhero. And the way the DCEU treated the character means there's almost no reason for the superhero to actually care about protecting Earth. Um, that you're never quite good enough, uh, so you keep on working harder, but it's not necessarily healthy. But now you're you're definitely healthy. I think that's one, one word we could use, right? We never got to see him interacting with humans, so why would he? This whole Clark Kent treatment is another reason why DC probably made the right decision when they ended the Snyderverse. Jack Snyder's original vision had potential. Give him that. But his interest seemed to begin and end with casting superheroes like gods walking among men. All the while, he completely lost sight of how important it is to explore their humanity. Most of the story hinges on that. It's difficult to properly relate to characters who are constantly treated as more than human. If you take away Barry Allen, Bruce Wayne, and Clark Kent, you take away most of the reasons we want to cheer for them. This complete lack of attention to the inner struggles of his heroes is why the Snyderverse came to the fall it did. In the meantime, James Gunn has dropped a few hints about his Superman reboot. The first of them is that the character will be younger than the Cavill version. It will begin in a ready-made world, fully fleshed out and populated. All the most iconic supporting characters will be there already. Note that Gunn's plans are in the infant stage. But if you look at the direction of his thinking, it holds a huge amount of promise. It's exactly what fans have been missing and talking about. Uh, I, I was just really on stage, just trying to be present to the moment that this is probably the last time this group will, of people will be together for, uh, for something like this. 
for Comic Con. I mean, we'll be able to do the press in May, but. Look, Henry Cavill was really popular, but Superman has always been a headache for the DCEU. And this is exactly what Gunn appears to be poised to fix. His focus will be equally divided between Superman and Clark Kent for a start. The fact that the cast around Clark Kent is very much a part of the reboot also bodes well. I mean, his civilian alter ego will be well thought out. Characters like Perry White, Jimmy Olsen, and Ma Kent could all now have an opportunity to shine. Giving them more screen time will work better than keeping the focus on Superman's ties with the Justice League. Many fans were more than a little happy when Gunn revealed that he'll pick up the story with a slightly younger Superman. This is also fantastic news for the treatment of Clark Kent. None of that skipping over the character's development to get to the Justice League crossover. A younger Superman will allow the DCU to develop the character from scratch, both as the Kryptonian Cal el and the civilian Clark Kent. They might have to hold off on a new Justice League for a while, but this will give Clark Kent a chance to fully develop into his own character, and hopefully he won't have to live in Superman's shadow anymore, which was the case in recent years. And then I looked across at the last moment and I saw Zack Snyder's name on the phone, so I grabbed the phone and then missed it. Right. And uh, so I called him back immediately and said, I I'm really sorry I was saving someone's life. <laughs> and I missed your call. Which What's is what up? I do all yeah. the time. <laughs> the key to everything is that the promised Guns reboot is showing has to be maintained for the franchise to stand as one of the great Superman iterations. And the casting will have to be conducted with careful thought. The actor that steps into the role will have to be able to plumb deep levels and layers that exist within Clark Kent. He'll have to be capable of showing the humanity of Kent that was lost in the Snyderverse. DC stories can get quite lofty and we like them like that, but it's essential for Clark Kent to always play a key role. Fans are still divided about Cavill's exit, but we're beginning to see the sense in the decision. And here's why. Firstly, the DCU was in desperate need of a fresh start. Granted, there have been fantastic films and magnificent moments in the DCU's history, but besides those, the franchise is nothing but a failed experiment. The stories haven't resonated with fans, critics, or regular moviegoers. And sorry, but Cavill is a little bit yesterday's news. When it was announced he would return, it was exciting, but it didn't come close to breaking the internet. Fans were hoping to see more of him as Clark Kent, but that was all drowned out by the events at DC. It implied that the whole Superman franchise was only going to be more of the same, and fans didn't want that. There was also way too much baggage already. Snyder's interpretation of Superman didn't resonate with everybody. There'd been all kinds of crazy going on with this Superman. Think of murdering Barman as a full-fledged villain, for instance, and sporting a laughable CGI jaw. Good Lord, or appearing headless in Shazam. A reboot, any reboot, would help the franchise move on. But the baggage is so heavy, we're forced to remember the past all the time. If Cavill stayed and became the same Superman surrounded by a whole new cast, it would have been awkward. Not to mention, if the storytelling style and approach changed dramatically too. So whichever way you slice it, this new iteration of the superhero under James Gunn is, at the very least, ejecting some electricity into the franchise. Fans are talking again. It feels as if there's a future for Superman and Clark Kent, and we can't wait to be a part of it. Now, all that remains to be seen is if the pudding will taste as good as it sounds. We'll catch you in the next video, folks. Please. Please do.